All right, I got my paint already mixed up with the shine red. And um, I don't know if this is going to be interesting for you guys to see. As a matter of fact, let's see here. We're going to... Yeah, I think it's going to be hard. But I'm going to have to... Let's see. First I'm going to spray. But I'm going to... It's right now air. Then I'm going to slowly rock back the, the rocker until I see something come out and then I see it lighten up a bit. Now, looking at both sides, I see it lighten up in the middle. Let me give it another light up. The edges is, a, you see the actual fade of the red. So there it goes. See like here, I don't know if you guys can see that. The whole purpose is not to paint the whole thing, just the middle part or the part. I'm hoping to see if I can do this later on, you know, like show you a video, um, much better video. Also, it's helping me out on the fact that some of the parts that I painted uh, is a little too red so it gives me a little bit of a wiggle room to even out the colors since it's a little bit more flatter than what I have Also dulls the part, which is I think kind of cool. This Iowanta, I guess, when it first was released, was not a brush airbrush for precision. It's for like, let's see. This one I had to put together. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Um, okay, the shoulder parts are the tough ones here. things done. I guess I can use this as an example here. Where this one's a little redder, this one's a little lighter. It's okay. I kind of like this, how it came out. This is going to take me a long time to set this up. and uh, So I don't want to bore you guys here. Let's, let me just continue on with this. And then we'll move on to the next part of the painting. Okay, now we're going to begin painting all the inner frames using gunmetal X10. I was prepared to do this, and then I realized that I need to do something else with this kit, with the inner frame. Mainly, actually, this. Here is the beam gun, or the beam rifle of the Aegis, painted in chrome silver. I was actually going to paint this with the um, silver uh, paint that was on one of my cans, my spray cans, which I used on, I think I used it on the Godzilla kit. And I don't know if I used it on, I think I used it on the, uh, what do you call that stupid kit that I just can't remember, Victory Gundam. Um, but I ran out. So I said, let me, let me paint this with chrome silver. It's... It's a paint that I've always used in the past. Everybody remembers it. It has a nice shine. It's also a good primer. And uh, you probably are noticing that some of these parts, some parts of this uh, of this gun has been uh, overpainted. Mainly, the sight. This sight is supposed this this is a clear part here, and this is a clear part here. But I repainted it to silver. Because once I'm done detailing this gun, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take the tape. I'm first. I'm gonna tape this part up first, uh, and then spray paint it the gun metal. But once I'm done, I'm gonna peel it off, and then I'm gonna put tape over the entire area here just to expose this and to expose that, so that I can paint the um, clear parts. I'm gonna pull this out clear blue. I think that would be appropriate for this part. Yeah. So, this is how the gun will look like before putting on the Tamiya tape. And here it is after putting some Tamiya tape on it. It's a bit tedious, of course, but if you take a take your sweet time, 
and get some great detail out of a cool looking gun. I may decide to continue on. I covered a few things here in the back. Here is the part that I told you that I'm going to cover here and here. See? Um, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to see if I can put some tape there, but it's a bit uncomfortable. I gotta figure that out. I'm well, able to cover this part here. I think I'm gonna slice a little bit here to cut it there as well. I'm going. This one pulls out, of course, and shows inner detail. I'm gonna leave that alone and I'm gonna close it. Yeah, I'm gonna close it like that, so I keep, so it's part of the um, inside. I cover it up in here where it has the G axis, not, not G axis, excuse me, the uh, Aegis uh, name tag there. I think I was, I was going to put one here, but I said, no, I'll leave that alone. So, this is done for now. Um, I forgot to mention that during the course of me airbrushing this, I decided to do the same thing for all the other inner frame parts. For example, here is the, the body. I am going to paint this uh, gunmetal. But I thought maybe if I did this, it'll give me some interesting uh, color shading or something like that with the um, with the chrome silver however since I was so and influenced by this what I just did right now I decided to do the same thing with other parts here is an example here's the leg all already painted Looking at the manual, the only exposed detail that I saw here was around here and here. And then when you bring this down, like this, right there, on this part. Here's what I did with the other leg. I put some tape here, here, and here. And on the other side, and I put a tape right there. Not too much, just enough to expose it but it's enough to give it an interesting effect. Let me give you another example. Here's the shoulder armor. Alright. It's going to be painted gunmetal, of course, everything. But here it is with some tape. It's alright. I think it's okay. This is what I plan to do. So, Let's begin airbrushing some gunmetal.